Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Master Shorty, and you're watching Rewind TV. I can't fault last year, man. It put my name on the map. Um, it kind of cemented my name within the music industry. I managed to kind of do a lot in a short space of time, and I was independent as well. For the whole, for the whole of last year, it was all independent, all done by myself, just me and two other guys, Kwame and Joey at my label, Odd One Out Music. And to be, you know, um, for my name to be in and around circle of other artists that had been signed to majors for X amount of time and had X amount of budgets being spent on them and to still be nominated for a MOBO and still, you know, um, be in the magazines that I was in and to be able to be interviewed by the people I was interviewed by, it was, it was, it was an amazing year. I've um, been in the studio with my producer, Labyrinth, because I've really been with him for, a whole year because he's just been he's excelled and he's working with everyone now but um i got back to my i went back to where it started with my boy and we're recreating some of the um tunes from adhd you know just to give him that oomph and to kind of take it to that next level i have clothing line coming um you know like obviously i have the merchandise but i'm also investing in a line and that in, and i'm really excited about that also releasing more singles, putting myself out there, growing the fan base, performing live up and down the country. And the main goal, which is the focus for 2010, is um, re-releasing my album internationally, which is I'm really excited about. As you know, you need to build yourself as a brand. Like, it's not about just the music anymore. People need to be able to relate to you as a whole, as a product. And with me, that's my personality. Um, that's my fashion sense, that's my lifestyle, that's my music. I'm going to be selling the British, I suppose, swagger style. Because realistically, like skinny jeans, they represent kind of, you know, the more of the rock punk era, which kind of originates from the UK, so it's British. Obviously, um, my music's very British, the sounds, my lifestyle, what I talk about. But I do it in a way that can relate to them. I'm not too, too British, do you know what I mean, where I'm talking in a slang where they're like, what does that mean? So they can't buy into it. I don't see why it won't be, and there's other people that also in the States and in other territories like Japan that believe that it could actually fly more so um, in you know, international waters rather than here. Yeah, I, got, I just did a tune with um, Polluted Minds. They're a dance production du duo, um, so it's a feature. It's like, you know how you have like Kid Cudi, The Crookers, um, Akon, David Guetta, it's a similar kind of thing, Master Shorty, Polluted Minds. That single is out in April and the video's been shot and it is it's nice, it's, it's, I hope it's going to go down well in the clubs, man. This is definitely a club, I and Apple kind of tune.